Hello everyone, well this is a bit of an unexpected video as I've been putting together a video on the best Xbox 360 games to buy over the past month which will be out by early next week at the latest either by hook or by crook. This video however is one I wasn't expecting to be making and it's going to be a quick consumer warning to everyone so you randomised gaming viewers don't end up like me trying to battle Microsoft and Xbox support for a refund for broken and not working content they are selling on the Xbox 360 store. So Monday last week I got the chance to take a look at Kinect and had a browse of some of the many games for Kinect that are getting the chop on Xbox 360. Kinect is dead and buried and all the gains for the system are going for good and never coming back. So if you want them, now really is your last chance to get them. Emulation of Kinect is also going to be a nightmare and the hardware isn't supported on any emulators at present. Now you may have also seen that Microsoft have done a round of permanent price reductions in May with ones to follow in both June and July. Now one game that got a price reduction was Rabbit Invasion the interactive TV show which here in the UK was reduced to £2.99. So I picked up the game, played it for a few hours, then decided to buy the season pass for it which contained all six extra episodes priced at £11.99. Well I say six, one is the bonus episode which is free to download to everyone on Xbox Live. So it's more about the five paid for episodes that cost £3.19 each in the store. So I purchased the season pass then went to the in-game store which then said all the DLC was now free to download. Click to download them and got the error message 801530003 which is an error message for when the content has been removed from Xbox Live. I've been trying for over a week now and all I get is the same error message. I can only assume the single download still work from the main Xbox 360 store but these will cost you £15.95 in total making them £3.96 more expensive to buy than the season pass. So what should I have got with the season pass? Here's the official text from the Xbox 360 store. The Rabbit Invasion Best Value Season Pass is now available and includes all 15 add-on episodes with crazy challenges. Get into a friendly competition with family and friends while watching the funny scenes of Super Rabbit, Rabid Vampires, Rabbids with Fleas, Zombie Rabbid, Rabid Dreams, and 10 more interactive episodes. Make hilarious poses, find hidden objects, scream the iconic Wah! Beat the timer and earn additional rabbit coins to become the champion of each episode. So far the only DLC I've been able to download is the three episode which anyone can download from the main Xbox 360 store as it's free. Now let's show what happens in game shall we? This bit is for Microsoft support who at present have refused to refund me.
as you can see the DLC refuses to download so I can't access any of the paid for content and if we go to my download history we can see the content isn't there either. This issue likely impacts a number of other season passes as well as shown in my previous video. Here's the refund request I sent to Microsoft. As you can see, I clearly explained the issue. I did notice the typos on reading it back, however. But here's what I said. I purchased the season pass for the Xbox 360 version of Rabbit's Invasion, the interactive TV show. However, when I go into the game to download the DLC, it gives me the error code 801530003 on the Xbox 360. It appears the season pass for the Xbox 360 version no longer works. This breaks United Kingdom laws and needs to be fixed. All I can do is request a refund as I cannot download the content linked to the season pass. So I think that's fairly straightforward and under the Consumer Rights Act of 2015 here in the United Kingdom for digital content, they do owe me a repair, a replacement or a price reduction and technically a refund would come under a price reduction because if I can't use the content they need to reduce the price effectively to zero because the season pass is in effect utterly worthless as it is broken and does not work in the slightest. Now here is the reply I got back from Xbox support. Thanks for contacting Microsoft support for Xbox. I'm following up on your refund request. We are really sorry, we can't give you a refund. Our refund policy does not allow refunds for digital game products that have been played or consumed. Thanks for understanding. Then it goes on to give me lots of links to Microsoft's website and not much else. It doesn't even tell me how I can appeal my case and nor does it provide me with any email or phone contacts. If anyone is watching this video who works at Xbox or Microsoft, then the case number, service request number is 7043194218. I have to admit for a professional computer company like Microsoft, this reply is both oddly worded and poorly laid out to the recipient. It doesn't look like a professional reply at all. I've removed the name of the person who sent it as this looks like a generic reply email, but the phrasing of it is odd with many of the words used in poor context. The use of the word consumed is incorrect as that is normally used in the context of eating something. An example of a correct use would be, I've consumed a juicy apple for my lunch today. You'd be better off saying games that have been played or virtual currency that's been downloaded or used. It's clear to me by the poor quality of this email that this is not a company that cares about its customer support and this work is likely outsourced. Here's the follow-up reply I sent to this email. And in this reply I go over the fact that the DLC season pass doesn't work. I go over what the season pass should give me the DLC packs I should be getting when I try to download it, the error message it gave me, and I also point out the UK law about what they need to offer, and I report other users who also have the same issue, and I ask them to please review this verdict. I actually just replied to the previous email and just wondered what would happen, and sure enough a few days later I got another reply. And this new reply was just as badly worded as the last one. And it reads as follow. Thank you for contacting Microsoft support for Xbox. We understand that you are following up on the refund request placed on 6th of June 2024. We have performed an additional review on the account and found it is not eligible for a refund. We can't provide a refund to this request. Our refund policy does not allow refunds for digital game products that have been played or consumed. Thanks for understanding. So it's the same boiler room response, just with a teeny bit at the front, which isn't very good. Now, this email came in today, so I have just put out this response back. This is a much more firmly worded one where I go over what well, the season pass should contain, the DLC I should have gotten. I also go over the fact that this is breaking consumer law even more. Again, I point out the Consumer Rights Act. This time, however, I directly asked for contacts at Microsoft Reading because you cannot phone them, you just get a rubbish automated response these days if you try to ring them, and their legal team contact because I basically say I'm going to have to consult a lawyer, which basically I am going to have to do, and I also mentioned that I'm going to report them to trading standards, which I will do. However, before I do that, I'm going to give them 30 days to correct this, which I have to do under UK law. I have to give them some time to try and fix it. 
but we will see so that's why i've given out the case number as well so if anyone's watching from xbox get your skates on and get this sorted now i also suggest a couple of fixes so i asked for either a refund a price reduction a repair <laughs> or a replacement whether they'll get back to me i don't know but i directly state the law and we'll see how it goes as based on the law here in the united kingdom Myself and Microsoft have a contract. When I gave them the money to buy the season pass, they in turn were supposed to supply me with the season pass and the relevant download content linked to it. They have failed to do that, so they are breaking their end of the contract. I have seen this reported on a few other websites, and it appears it doesn't matter if you own the disc or digital version, you cannot download the DLC for Rabbit's Invasion, the interactive TV show, via the Xbox 360 season pass. I should point out the game also has an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 release. Right now I would advise users to get the PS4 version. This isn't the only Ubisoft game with issues with season passes as Assassin's Creed 3 has issues with the digital version and the season pass. In that case it seems that after buying the season pass the store says there is no content to download. Ubisoft are aware of this issue and have done nothing for years it appears. This is deeply concerning and it appears all Ubisoft season passes should be avoided on the Xbox 360 at present. My suggestion to Microsoft and Ubisoft to prevent this happening any further in the next few weeks is to delist the season pass download from the store and reduce the price of the five single downloads to either three or to between 1p to 20p each in the main Xbox 360 store for Rabbids Invasion the interactive TV show. That is at least a way to prevent this issue happening again. Just to go over the points earlier, again as it stands they still have to provide me with one of the following options under UK law and the Consumer Rights Act 2015 as section 42 states I have the right to a repair, replacement or price reduction the latter of which would allow for a full refund as the content does not work at all as described in the store meaning Microsoft would have to price reduce it to free. Otherwise I have a legal case against both Microsoft who run the store and Ubisoft for failing to uphold their end of the contract and it would be something trading standards would have to investigate which could end up becoming very costly for Microsoft if they were to be fined for an 11.99 DLC. So Microsoft, how about you refund me and give me the extra £3.96 to buy the single versions of the five paid for DLCs. It would save us all a lot of hassle in the long run. I did ring Xbox support for help on this matter I spoke to someone saying the season pass was broken and could they add the DLC to my account. The guy said he didn't know and would find out, putting me on hold for around 15 minutes before cutting me off. That's quality support for you, one that clearly isn't interested in helping the customer. I wanted to get this message out there now as Microsoft don't care about the consumer so please do spread the word and I could do some support on Twitter raising the message, reblogging and liking my tweets on this matter would help. Please remain civil if doing so. I want to raise the issue with Microsoft and push to get myself and others refunds for this so please be nice to other people. Spreading hate on online social media platforms helps no one. Huge thank you to everyone who has watched and commented on our previous videos on the Xbox 360 store. We have had some really great information from you all, some of which has been a real eye opener. I will be covering the points you raised in our next video. Also while I'm here we need to talk about Battlefield 3 and 4. As you see the Xbox 360 version alongside the PlayStation 3 release of both games are being shut down on November the 7th. The native version of Battlefield 4 for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will remain up. This shutdown is no doubt linked to the store closing but be warned as the DLC for these games requires a server running with the DLC maps in rotation. It appears that most of the remaining official servers don't run DLC maps so if you want to play the DLC maps and get those linked achievements and trophies it will be very tricky. That's not mentioning the lack of players these days on the game or so. You can however use the pay to play feature of renting a server for the game. Yes I never realised this but you can rent servers for 1, 7, 3 or 90 days. 
This is most likely why they don't let you host your own servers clearly. Now the game does have a few full matches but getting people to play any servers you host might be a bit tricky. So you will need to boost the DLC with people and as servers rent for a maximum of 90 days you will only have to the end of October to play the DLC content and unlocked linked achievements as you won't be able to rent servers after the store closes. That's assuming you want to pay the eye-watering price of $59.99 for a 90 day server rent where you might not even get a single player to play with. I was thinking of buying the Battlefield 4 Premium Edition on Xbox One while it was on sale at the moment for £5.24 but then I saw it was cheaper on the PlayStation 4 for £3.49 as Xbox support are mucking me about I decided to buy it on the PlayStation instead and save some money as well. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope this video helps people out from making the same mistake as me with Rabbit's Invasion the interactive TV show. I'd also advise people stay clear of Battlefield 3 and 4 on Xbox 360 as well. If you enjoy this video as always hit the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell, follow us on Twitch, Twitter and you can support us on Ko-fi if you want. That's it from me till our next video and I'll see you all very soon.